Well, you already know what this video is about. Right next to me, I have Dr. Pepper's new single turbo that I gotta show y'all. I'll put this over here. Dude, that thing is sick. Look at the size difference. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Teeth and Turbos. I'm here today with Size by Side Blog, and they are giving away this 2020 Pro XP4 and a 2011 F-150 and a trailer so you can take your friend from high school that you haven't seen in two years out riding. Wow! You know what I'm saying? Look at this beautiful machine. It's got long travel. It's got big suspension on it, KMC wheels, custom cage by Brick City Fab that's painted. Look at these buttes. You got the Buffalo on here stitched in, Simpsons, you got the 4.5 point harnesses, but you know this point right here. Oh, watch out. Oh, she's sharp. That adds at least 50 horsepower right there. Well, if you guys haven't heard, every $10 spent on sidebysideblog.com on merch, it has to be one of the three t-shirts or the Gator, gets you one entry into this. It only lasts two weeks, so buy as much as you can. It is gonna be worth it. I mean, who doesn't wanna win a truck, a trailer, and a side-by-side? -side? I mean, that's everybody's dream. Right. So go on their website, order some merch, because get your chance to win it today. Well, you already know what this video is about. Right next to me, I have Dr. Pepper's new single turbo that I gotta show y'all. I've been working on it for a couple months. Well, let's take a look here in this box. I've already opened it because I just couldn't resist myself. Shout out to Viren at VS Racing for making this happen. I've got a heart for people who take care of my brother, but you know, he runs Precision. I'm gonna stick with these turbos. They've done me really well, never let me down, so I'm gonna continue to run it. Okay, here we go. Three, four. Oh, I'll put this over here. There she is, people. What do you think? I'm switching to an electric turbo. We're gonna mount this thing up right here. Get us all the boost on demand exactly when we want it. All right, who am I kidding? There it is, a 98 millimeter, 113 millimeter GT55 VS Racing with their Gen 3 compressor wheel, T6 back housing. This is an absolute unit of a turbo. I mean, look at that compared to my hand. It is huge. I'm so excited to get this thing mounted up. First, I gotta take this puny little turbo off and then we're upgrading people. I'm redoing the cold side. We're gonna mess with the hot side. I've also got another box I need to show y'all because this is gonna be the turbo that gets us into that seven second range. And I am so fired up. So Tim is the kind of guy that you can call up when you're in need and he's gonna guide you in the right direction. I've been in touch with him talking about wastegates, the turbo, the cold side, the hot side, clamps, everything. And he really knows his stuff because he immediately asks, okay, what wastegates are you running? Because with this large of a turbo, we need to make sure we get good flow when we want it. And right now I have VS Racing, I believe they're 44 millimeter wastegates on both sides here and here. So it dumps out from this header and this header, even though they're connected in the middle, it allows us to get the massive amount of flow out when we want it. So we're upgrading to the 50 millimeter VS Racing wastegates. So we are gonna have to cut the hot side here, cut the height side here and do some modifications, but I am gonna get this cleaned up. So let's unbox those wastegates. Wow, this thing's party. A little bit bigger. We're gonna have to make some modifications, but it just feels like a more stout rate unit right here. VS Racing, let's compare it to the existing one that's on there wide a bit larger as you can see getting a little more airflow oh, let me turn that around here oh yeah oh yeah gonna clean her up quite a bit here gotta expand that a little bit get this to hook right but we'll get her done 
So my goal for today, as I'm standing here next to the car, is I'm gonna get the old turbo off and we're just gonna set this one in its place so that we can compare the two side by side to see really how much bigger this one is and sort of get an idea of what parts we need to get. I'm gonna show you right now exactly the parts I already have on order to get this show on the road. Most importantly, we're starting right here. We've got this Motion Raceworks Icon 102 millimeter throttle body. We've got their quick seal V-band clamps and it goes to a four inch weld flange. So I got a new flange from Motion Raceworks on the way. I've got 45 degree four inch aluminum coming from Motion as well. I've got a new flange for the blow off valve because we're gonna run the exact same blow off valve which is a 50 millimeter. And then the inlet for the, or the outlet for the compressor, this is three inches. So Tim, again, being an expert that he is, is sending me a V-band that goes from three inches to four inches so that we don't have to run a large cone. It's gonna go right here and it's this billet piece that yes, this is three inches and then it's going to expand to four right away so that we don't have to have this cone piece going to our 4OD pipe before it enters the throttle body. So that's the cold side. As I kind of touched on earlier, we are gonna be running these larger 50 millimeter, stepping it up from the 44 millimeter waste gates that are gonna go on this existing piping here. One here, one here. I've got the dome pressure sensor here, and then I just need to reroute all of these lines. So not too much to do. I am a little bit worried about this five inch exhaust that comes off the hot side of the turbo. We might gonna have to make a little bit of modifications to that, but we're prepared for it. Also this bracket, if you notice the turbo's a little bit cockeyed, it kind of sits at an angle, a little higher on the driver's side than a little lower on the passenger side. Ty really wants to level that out and then make it straight in line with the motor just to clean things up and uh, yeah, fix it right. first child you're done <sighs> trick it's... is to lift with your back in a twisting jerking motion oh. dude that thing is sick look at the size difference it's a big dog <laughs> i think it's even got a port for a uh, speed sensor oh really is that those yeah Dang. you fancy huh mm -hmm. 88 98 you got that back 103 98, 88, 103, 113. Shoot, buddy. Right? That's sick, man. Mock it up real quick. Let's see yeah. how she sits. Think it'll clear that water pump? Oh, yeah, we're good. Yeah, it's not bad. Not bad at all, actually. Is it, did they say it's going to bolt up? It should bolt up, yeah, but okay. we're going to... I have new waste gates, so we're going to... I'm okay. dicing some stuff. I got stuff ordered from Motion to redo the cold side. Nice. Yeah. Hell yeah, dude. These icons plug and that play. Oh, it's freaking good, man. A little Golly. better than late. A little better than Rusty Dusty. Yeah, she did the job, though. She did. She did the job. I hear a guy in the fleet wants this thing for their home build. Who's that? His name starts with an S. Sam? Yeah. Oh, frick, dude. <laughs> what? She's staying in the family. Hell yeah. I thought this was your new turbo. Well, when, I unboxed, it, about when I unboxed it, that was in there. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Electric cool. turbo. There you go. Proven already. Right. What do you think, we're dude? That's a big boy. We're gonna go seven seconds with this thing. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> All the fillet. New compressor wheels, bigger, better, stronger, faster. All of it. All of the it. The whole package. That's right. That's right. Pretty excited. Probably gotta do a little cut and dice here, get her lined up right. You, where, where'd you say you, you wanted me to put this thing? Down low. Down low? 
facing frontward to get more fresh air induction. Sam, that what is it? Wind machine. That's a cyclone. Right? Ooh, it's like you. a Dyson on there. Oh. What you look for? Hey, I heard you got a. I heard you got a second life for this thing over here. It's called on the '55 Chevrolet Second Life, sitting right there. Right oh. There. And goes on another engine just like this right here. Uh, an LS variety, not like that one. Unless we took that one out, but it's one just like that right there. You already cleaned on. it. Yeah. LS Sam. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my, send that thing down and send that thing down the road then. Oh, buddy, Man, I can't wait. Whoa, it's a little wider width wise, but we'll get her. You get her right. You get her right. Stick some, well, stick some pipes, you get her right. Oh, yeah. Uh, a big advantage of that being wider, put the pipe out here where we're not burning everybody, huh? Oh, yeah, you I know like what? That's it. not a bad like idea. It. We should do that. I like that. Yeah. Stick it out another couple Look inches. It's a big dog, isn't Man, it? That is a. Ooh, I love it. That, that's horsepower. And I, look at that. Reach, we can just reach your arm around several hundred horsepower. People were saying to wrap the cold side of Dr. Pepper cans, but I don't know. I think we just do a powder coat of black or polish it up mm -hmm. like they did on... Uh, oh, I don't see why not. Let's do that. On mullet. God, what a, what a beautiful piece of art. That is just... Yeah, look at all this. Oh, it's got the cooling ribs. That is the cooling ribs right there. That's our strand motion right there. Sure is. Right there. Well, we're excited to get this on the car. We got a little bit of fab work to do, but, you know, it's necessary if we're going to be running as fast as we are. So I know I don't post much about this stuff, but we're going to get to some teeth content. I went to a really interesting continued education course, just like attorneys or anybody else that holds a license throughout their career. You have to stay on top of your education. So the state requires you to do continued education. I do like four times the required amount just because I love this career so much. Let's get into some teeth content. It's really cool and you bet you'll learn something. Today I'm bringing you a little bit of teeth content. I'm at the Picos Institute in Florida and we're talking about sinus grafting. A lot of patients come in with complications or not even have the ability to place dental implants. So essentially you're replacing bone in the sinus, which is an empty space below your eyes and above your teeth. That'll give them the ability to have something like a denture that's snapped or screwed into place. So I'm kind of going to show you what it entails and the procedure. It's really in depth and it's a pretty advanced deal. So, okay. So for this example, I'm going to be using an egg and the egg works because it has a small membrane in it that mimics the one on the skull, like this pink membrane here. And so essentially you don't want to perforate that pink membrane and you're drilling through the bone ever so slightly. So the egg is a good example of how difficult it is to access the sinus without puncturing or making a hole like that one in the egg. So what I do is I drill a hole essentially right here after flapping the skin back and that gives me access into the sinus. And then I'm going to add bone from there. So we use a syringe such as this to add the bone or you can pack it in with an instrument. It is It does come from a donor and again you don't want to puncture this membrane. So it's a very delicate procedure and one that involves a lot of skill and training before d diving in deeper. All right, so we're using a piezo surgery by Mectron. It's basically using ultrasonic vibrations along with water. It vibrates the eggshell away. And so we're carefully moving the, egg, the outer hard shell and not perforating the inner membrane, just like you would be doing if you're working on a human skull. Now, obviously the egg's gonna be a little bit more delicate. It's not exactly the same. The bone is a little bit more dense on a human. It's kind of like working in wood or a dense cork, like on this model. But this is going to be something good to practice on. As you can see, he's moving right along here, making the, the window, is what we call it, the lateral window to enter the sinus. Okay, moving on to a model. You can see I've made my window going into the sinus here. Kind of similar to what's on the egg, this rectangle. It's about 10 by 15 millimeters here and here. And I'm gonna get these edges cleaned up and then elevate the membrane. It's on the inside here. So push it up like that. And we're gonna fill this area with bone. And when you fill this area with bone, that'll give us real estate to place implants on this ridge. So once the access into the sinus has been made, we have to elevate this membrane with these peculiar instruments that are hooked and curved in inter interesting ways. So you essentially have this large space 
inside the sinus for you to place your bone graft. So this is a very delicate procedure. You do really slowly. You kind of hook them in there and push it up. And sometimes the membrane tears. And so this course is going over the complications of how to deal with these tears and certain membranes to use so that you can continue with the procedure and provide that bone for that patient so they can get the dental implants that they'd like. So here we are administrating the bone graft into the sinus. This is then allowed to heal for at least six months and then you can put your implants in. So this does come from human and is donor bone and is a great way to get that real estate back. Well, y'all, that wraps it up for another episode of Teeth and Turbos. I'm so stoked for the car's progress as well as my dentistry. I'm out here grinding. I'm working in the mornings, placing implants, doing surgery, and then I come and work on my cars. We're working towards getting that seven second pass. So if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe, like, leave me a comment. I love to hear from y'all and thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next episode. As a fellow car guy, I know it's super easy to forget to take care of yourself, especially when you're at the track, we're all drinking Mountain Dew and Dr. Pepper. This toothbrush is only $39. It's a great electric toothbrush. It's what I use every day. Normally they're $59, but if you click the link in the description below or use my coupon code QDNASK, you can get this toothbrush for only 39 bucks. Buy one for yourself, your girlfriend, whoever. They are an awesome toothbrush. It's Basically the same thing as a Sonicare, except a tenth of the price. So go get one. They send you a new brush head every three months so you don't have to worry about it. It's a great deal.